Hi, I'm Maurice Dubois in the newsroom tonight on the news. He was lured into danger and it was all caught on camera. Tonight, police shared this video of the suspects they're looking for. Two men who they claim made a fake food order Monday night. This is at 113th Street and Frederick Douglass Boulevard in Harlem just to try to rob the delivery man. But the delivery man fought back and we just spoke with him. I thought he was going to suit me, honestly. I thought he was going to kill me. I was very scared. That's why even yesterday I didn't go to work. Yesterday and today I, I didn't go. And that's all I do for my living, to, to have some money. I told my, even I told my brother now, I think I'm discouraged now, I think I have to quit. Also tonight, digging out parts of the area, especially Long Island, got buried in snow. Tonight, the signs to look for if you've got trees that are compromised. Hello, I'm with Kevin Thompson in Manasquan, and we're talking about tree safety as a snowball just falls from above. Exactly, uh, in the wires. Yes, in the wires. Um, so in terms of uh, safety as we go into spring, what should people look for on their properties now that we've gone through four storms, the weight of the snow, the wet ground, what are the safety precautions? They should always hire a licensed tree expert mm -hmm. or a ISA certified arborist. Uh, Prevention is always the best cure. They should stay ahead and make sure that the trees are safe, that they see, they hear noises, that they're creaking, or if they see hollows in the trees, or they had bad leans, or uh, they should always be inspected. And trees should traditionally be inspected annually by a certified person. Also, after a storm, trees should always be inspected. But the biggest thing is to be preventive and do preventive maintenance and always maintain your trees and make sure you plant the right tree in the right location, which will enhance the safety of trees and having them inspected all the time. And amazingly, the maintenance will pay big dividends. All right, thank you so much. You're Good welcome. tips. 99-year-old Saturnina Castillo has been living with her daughter for eight months. That's because her apartment in the Morrisania section of the Bronx was severely damaged by a fire last July. Repairs were supposed to be done by January of this year, which was ordered by the city, but Castillo's landlord has apparently done nothing. In fact, Castillo says the landlord changed the locks, making it impossible for her to enter her home to retrieve her belongings. She's hired a lawyer and is fighting to get back in the home she's lived in for 40 years. We're still waiting to hear from the landlord to find out why the repairs have not been done. Several other tenants are so frustrated with management, they've taken their complaints to Bronx Housing Court, where they are filing for an independent administrator to take over for the landlord. In the Morrisania section of the Bronx, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hi everyone, Cindy Shu here. I'm doing a story today on unplugged vacations and I'm here with Michaela Guzzi, who is a travel expert. And first, explain what an unplugged vacation is. It's really about getting off the grid and turning off your phones. Get away from the screen and be present in the place where you're at with the people that you're with. And there are actually companies that are focusing on that. There's companies, there's travel companies, but even Samsung Electronics has Thrive the app that tells you how long you've been on social media, and if you tell it to, it'll kick you off. <laughs> oh my so something for the future. Uh, if you ever want to like really get away, you might want to think of an unplugged vacation. We're going to have updates on social media and much more on TV.